in Texas, we have some really hot summers. So it could be 80 degrees and 90 degrees outside. The first thing I do with the driver is I teach them how a wedding cake feels in the back of a truck. So I take them outside and make the driver sit in the back of the van, Indian style, and he cannot use his hands while I drive around. So I'll go driving and make some turns, I'll make some stops, I'll pull out real fast and they're just rolling all around the back and I'm like, okay, that's what we do not want the cake to do. So after that, they kind of get an idea of when the cake is riding and it's moving like this, to slow down or take their time, I think out of all the years, well actually my first cake I rolled when I was probably 15 back then when you could drive at 15. I begged my mom to let me deliver a wedding cake and I only got two blocks and had to go back. <laughs> so the, we will take our wedding cakes out of the cooler. We'd start our cars before, get the air conditions going really good. And we have actually taken all the seats out of a van and leveled it out with a level. So we've built a platform and then we have the slip stop which goes under rugs and we have that all over the van. And we will put them in according to how many stops that he has. And before he can leave, somebody that does not um, have an investment in that cake, a de another decorator, a front person, or myself, has to go out there and read the entire order to make sure he has the right wedding cake, the right groom's cake, a stand, the bride and groom, everything that pertains to it, and then the extra boxes. We can do three in a van at a time. We can drive them six or seven hours away, whatever it takes. But we just have a really good system for delivering and they all get there standing up straight. Now we, we have had some things go wrong. I did a cake called the pansy cake, which was sugar flower pansies all the way around. And I finally said, I'm never doing another pansy cake because it fell twice. One of them was, this is what we do. If the bride's wedding is at two, the cake leaves here at 12. That's three hours before she walks the aisle. As that cake delivery is out on the road, the driver has five minutes, if he ever gets lost, to call in. And he has to talk to a supervisor. Once he calls in and says that there was a problem, the cake fell, the entire bakery team stops and starts reproducing that cake. We have one in the freezer at all times. So probably by the time the driver gets back with whatever mistake he had, we have the same cake made for him and ready to go. Only two times I've had a bride know that we made a mistake. And one was because she wanted to see it before she walked the aisle. So there was my other hour that I needed. So um, like I said, it's communication. The driver talking to us specifically and not just calling the front people to say something's wrong, get a supervisor on. I have a ticket here. I have the same copy that he has in his truck so I can read it and make all the decisions of maybe I have to give them a bigger cake. Maybe I have to, I have to give them a smaller cake but it's the same design but then I'm going to give them sheet cakes. Whatever it is, then um, the whole team here is ready to help the driver. And so by the time he gets back, he hardly has anything to do except clean up his, the truck and put the new cake in.